So I just heard a rumor that all nurses do is play cards. So they don't need no mandatory lunch break or any other breaks. <whistles> Five things nurses do besides playing cards. Five. Number one, nurses deal with being unappreciated because nobody knows what nurses really do. Average person not in the medical field thinks all nurses do is come in and say, well, the doctor will be here in a moment. Thank you for coming. The nurse is the biggest person you're going to run into when you enter any medical facility. Why? Because the nurses relay all information to that doctor. But that nurse must know before you even get to that doctor what you have, how you got it, when you got it, who had it before you got it. How are you here? Why are you here? Why don't you want to be here? What's your medical insurance like? The nurse is the person that records all of the important information before taking it to the doctor. Let me break it down in some layman's terms that people will understand. The doctor is the scantron sheet, but the nurse is the number two pencil that you must have. If the doctor is the vehicle, the nurse is the gas that goes into the vehicle to make the doctor run. If the doctor is Michael Jordan, the nurse is definitely Scotty Pippen. While some people out there think all nurses do is play solitary cards on the Windows 98 PC, I'm in here looking like, hey, listen, I don't need to see the doctor. I would like to see the nurse first, if you don't mind. Number two, they deal with irate patients who have no medical insurance. Now, I'm not saying the doctor never come out there and give bad news to people. I'm not saying that. But I am saying when I don't have my insurance or when I ain't have my insurance and I want to cuss everybody in the hospital on my John Q, my son will live. Today. They didn't send Dr. Kevorkian out there. They didn't send Dr. Doogie Howser out there. They sent nurse lady, nurse man out there to say, Mr. Prey, I understand what you're saying, but you don't have insurance, but we can work with you on some things. When the nurses are not playing cards on a Windows PC 1998, they out there absorbing all the verbal abuse from patients that know they ain't got no damn insurance. Patients that know they can't afford that hair surgery today. Well, I need hair plugs. I'm going bald in the top of my head and I want plugs and I ain't leaving until I get no hair plugs. Number three, nurses play emotional support systems for a lot of families. About seven, eight years ago, my son had a real high fever, and I was in the hospital crying. Doctor, he got a fever. His temperature 102, he only a year old. I need him. I'm so sad. I'm so scared. The nurse at Physicians Regional Hospital in Naples, Florida came, sat beside me, put my head on her shoulder and rubbed my shoulder till I almost fell asleep. That I almost felt too good. Listen, I don't want to leave this hospital, Miss Nurse Lady. She didn't have to do that. All she had to do was tell me, this is what's going to go on. We need your baby. We're going to take care of your child. After taking my child and making sure he was on straight, she sat and made sure I was emotionally okay. Not saying she ignored nobody else. I'm just telling you she made sure I was emotionally okay. And you can't pay for that kind of service. That kind of service don't come on a bill. Anesthesia, light, needles, water, emotional support for a six foot black 252 pound male who got snot boogers coming out of his mouth. Priceless. Thank you, nurse lady. Thank you. Number four, work 100 hours a day. I don't know what career you in. I don't know what you do for a living. All I know is when you go into a hospital, you can walk in at 6 a.m. and you can see Mr. Gonzalez, the nurse, or Mrs. Gonzalez, the nurse. And when you come in at 7 a.m. the next day, you see them same two people. And you're like, hey, did you have a good sleep at night? What's sleep? What's home? My home is here. Nurses have the same schedule as firefighters have. They work 80 hour shifts, then they get off for two hours, then they come back, then they get off for another three hours, then they come back, then they work 18 days straight, then they make get off one day for the nurses that work more hours than it is in a millennium i appreciate understand and recognize what you do for us us and number five they ignore anything negative and assumed about them and they continue to be some of the greatest staff and public workers on the face of the earth. You medical professionals do not hold grudges in your time of work. Now, I'm not saying you'll get in your car and you don't, <laughs> I don't care if they never come back to this hospital. <sighs> but as long as you're on staff, as long as you are punched in, you always make me feel needed. You always make me feel cared about. And you always make me feel important. And if anybody out there ever question how great you all are, if anybody out there ever question your objective and what you're doing, behind closed doors or what you're doing behind the scenes or what you're doing when it seems like things are maybe taking a little bit longer. I want to be the first and definitely not the last to say, I appreciate you. Now, if y'all are in that break room back there playing cards and playing spades, I'm telling you right now, I'm upset because y'all didn't invite me to the table. And, and, I, and I hope y'all Windows 98 PC crash while you're playing solitaire. Nurses. I won't
get out of your head You're gonna hear what I say Gonna give it to you straight Just like Josh prayed